Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. In the last session, as part of transformation of axis, we have seen translation of axis. In this session, we will see briefly about rotation of axis. Now let's try to understand what is rotation of axis and the derivation related to that. Then we will do some simple examples so that we can apply the concept, whatever we learned. Let's draw a simple coordinate system. Let us say this is x axis, this is our y axis, and there is a point x comma y in this system. Let us say that is point P with coordinates x comma y. Now what happened? We have rotated the axis. Now what's the meaning of rotation of axis? Rotation of axis means the transformation obtained by rotating both the coordinate axis in the plane by an equal angle without changing the position of the origin. It is called as rotation of axis. That means what we are going to do now, we are going to rotate the axis by an equal angle, both of them by equal angle. I hope. Okay, fine. Now, we know that this angle is equal to theta and that angle is also equal to theta. Now these are our new coordinate axis. Let us say they are capital X dash, capital Y dash. Now earlier the point coordinates are X comma Y. Let us say the coordinates are now x dash comma y dash. Now, how I can get the relation between x y and x dash y dash? That is what we are going to see as part of the derivation. First, what I will do with respect to the old coordinate system, what is x and what is y? Let us try to draw that. So, we know that x Suppose the point is x comma y, then we know that this distance is x and that distance straight if I come that's equal to y. This distance is equal to y. From here to here is y and from here to here is x. And the point we have is this particular point x comma y. Now when the coordinate axis is changed, now you know that always the x, x, x coordinate is nothing but the distance from the y axis, perpendicular distance from the y axis. Similarly, y coordinate is equal to perpendicular distance from the x axis. So when compared to the new coordinate system, this will be my y dash, this will be my y dash and this will be my new x dash. This is x dash and this is y dash. Because with respect to the, with respect to the new coordinate axis, with respect to the new coordinate axis, y coordinate is given by perpendicular distance from x axis new axis and x coordinate is perpendicular distance from the y axis now we want to find out what is the relation between the what's the relation between x y and x dash y dash for that what we will do we'll do a simple construction we'll do small just a simple we'll drop perpendiculars we'll drop this perpendicular first let us say we'll just cut it down then we will also do a parallel line here so that this becomes a rectangle let's put alphabets there so that we can easily explain what's happening so let us say this is m this is n let us say this is l and this is q what else we need 
we know we have L, M, N, Q and P. Okay, let's go. Now, we know that we can also write down here. We know this is X and we know that X dash is nothing but equal to this is O by the way. Let me put that as O. This is O. Okay, now let's write down what is X and Y and X dash and Y dash so that we are very clear with it. So first we'll write down what is x, x equal to ol that is equal to x, y is given by pl is equal to y, what is x dash, x dash is equal to om, om is equal to x dash om equal to x dash and what is y dash y dash is equal to pm pm equal to y dash now we will understand one simple thing here is that if if a line makes theta with x axis then its perpendicular will make same angle with the y axis i'll repeat again if a line if a line that is if a line that means a new coordinate axis makes an angle theta then the y axis that's nothing but pl will make the same angle with its perpendicular or nothing but the new y axis so i know that that angle is equal to theta so I can go back and write down here theta. If you don't get it, another way you can look at it. Theta, 90, 90 minus theta. Again, 90 minus theta, 90, theta. Then you have 90, 90 minus theta. So basically it will be equal to theta. I'll repeat again. You have theta, 90, 90 minus theta. Again, 90 minus theta, 90. Again, you have... 90 here 90 minus theta because this is total is 90 degrees so this will be again equal to theta so once we have written it now let's go back and try to get the relationship in place so first step what we want to find out is what is x x is nothing but ol OL is equal to nothing but OQ minus QL. But what is OQ? OQ is nothing but OM into cos theta minus QL. QL, where is our Q? QL is nothing but equal to MN. Can I write down another step otherwise? This is equal to OQ minus MN. But what is MN? MN is nothing but Y. What is that? MN is nothing but equal to PM into sine theta. So let's understand that here. How this values came. Let's go to triangle OMQ in that cos theta is equal to O Q cos theta equal to O Q divided by O M or O Q equal to O M cos theta O Q equal to O M cos theta the next one we have here is the next triangle I'll write down here triangle consider the triangle P M N in that you have sin theta is equal to we are looking from here when I look from here my sin theta is mn divided by pm so I can write down that that is equal to mn divided by pm so mn equal to pm sin theta now what is om om is nothing but equal to x dash 
om is equal to x dash we know x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta x equal to x dash sin theta minus y dash x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta so what basically we did is something like this we took x dash we got cos theta that means it became oq x dash into cos theta is oq similarly y dash into sin theta is equal to y we subtracted oq from that we have taken mn which is nothing but lq out oq minus lq is equal to ol now let's go ahead and similarly find out what is the value of y now for that we will write down pl is equal to pn plus nl pl is equal to pn plus nl but nl is equal to mq can i write down pn plus mq because for pn i can use this triangle and for mq i can use this triangle so i can write down that is equal to pn plus mq what is pn pn is nothing but pm pm cos theta plus mq is equal to om sin theta but pm is equal to y dash cos theta plus om sin theta is nothing but x dash sin theta so now we got x equal to x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta and y equal to x dash sin theta plus y dash cos theta so let's write it down at one plus in the corner and we now go back and try to find out how i can represent x dash in terms of x for that what i will do i'll write down those two here somewhere i will write down x equal to x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta similarly y equal to x dash sin theta plus y dash cos theta y equal to x dash sin theta plus y dash cos theta now we know x in terms of x dash and y dash how to find out y in terms of x dash and y dash we'll finish that then we'll close this session maybe in the next session we'll go through the examples now what i will do i will leverage whatever i have i want to find out x dash value my idea is to multiply this the first equation with cos theta and the second equation with sin theta so that i can have x dash here cos theta into cos theta x dash cos square theta here x dash sin square theta so that i can get x dash equal to in terms of x and y so let us see that i'll write down here x cos theta is equal to x dash cos square theta minus y dash sin theta cos theta similarly multiplying second equation with sin theta i will have y sin theta equal to x dash sin square theta plus y dash cos theta sin theta now i can add these two i will have these two cancelled the last two terms get cancelled what i am left out is x cos theta plus y sin theta is equal to x dash into cos square theta plus sin square theta that gives me x dash is equal to that gives me x dash is equal to x cos theta plus 
y sin theta now similarly can i get y dash also for that what i will do i'll write down here what we know i'll write down here x equal to x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta and y equal to x dash sin theta plus y dash cos theta now this time i want to have y so first one i will multiply with minus sin theta so that i will get sin square theta multiply with oops, multiply with minus sin theta similarly the second one multiply just with cos theta because then it becomes y dash cos theta into cos theta y dash cos square theta and this will become y dash sin square theta so i should be able to get the y dash value out so it will be nothing but now minus x sin theta equal to x dash cos theta minus sin theta plus y dash sin square theta similarly the next one when i multiply with cos theta we will have y cos theta is equal to x dash cos theta sin theta these two terms will cancel then i'll have y dash cos square theta now you add them you will have minus x sin theta plus y cos theta is equal to i will have these two terms get cancelled because there is minus here they get cancelled and i will have here y dash into cos square theta plus sin square theta that means y dash is equal to minus x sin theta plus y cos theta so we have now x in terms of x in terms of x dash we know y in terms of x in terms of x dash y dash we know y in terms of x dash y dash similarly x dash in terms of x and y let me write it down here here we'll say x dash is equal to x cos theta plus y sin theta and y dash is equal to minus x sin theta plus y cos theta now how easy to remember this for that we have a small box i will give that to you nobody will ask the derivation of this this is only for understanding this box what i am going to put down is very important because that is the box which will help you to convert from x to x dash y dash and x dash to x and y derivation is for our understanding how it came but the box is more important for solving the problems what we will do we'll write down here x y we'll write down x dash y dash then let's put so then we will write down fill it x equal to x dash cos theta plus y da x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta similarly y equal to x dash sin theta plus y dash cos theta so this box will help you to find out whatever you want suppose you want x dash x dash equal to x cos theta plus y sin theta suppose you want x x equal to x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta you want y y equal to x dash sin theta plus y dash cos theta similarly you want y dash y dash equal to minus x sin theta plus y cos y cos theta so this box is very important if you are able to remember this box memorize this box then we can easily solve all the problems so in the next session we will see some simple problems where we will do the rotation of axis and find out how the coordinates will change or how the equation of the curve will change when the coordinate axis was rotated by a particular angle so i'll catch you in the next session thanks for your time and support bye for now